I just remind myself all the time that it doesn't really mean that much. Um, me getting Big Ten Player of the Week for the offense isn't going to make equal an automatic win versus Colorado next week. What's going to help me win and hopefully get more of those awards is the preparation that got me to this point. So um, the, the award is cool, but it, it really means nothing. So, Coach was talking about uh, how Khalid Hills helping you guys out yeah. around the goal line and all. And talk about what uh, you see out of him in terms of somebody that you can... Yeah, so uh, he, he's in the three facets that I see him uh, helping us the most, blocking. He's a big-time blocker. Uh, I know when I hand him the ball uh, to run, he's going to get positive yards, never negative. And uh, I see him as a, a big-time threat out of the backfield in terms of passing to him So because uh, he used to be a tight end. So... To have that threat as a, as a fullback um, is, is big time. And, and you know, guys like Henry Poggi and Bobby Henderson are, are doing the exact same thing. So it just happened to be Khalid down on the goal line. Um, I know if Bobby gets in there and, and is given the opportunity, he'll take advantage of it. And you know, Poggi, I threw Poggi a check down the other day and he was able to run two people over for a first down. So uh, that position is very important to us and, and we're utilizing it well. Was it really the Minnesota game that just let you know that you can do this or was there a moment uh, I mean, during last year's camp, towards the end of camp, I started playing really well, and uh, I thought to myself I could, but I needed to show everybody else besides the, the team um, that I could do something not just during practice, and uh, to be able to go and do that versus Minnesota was was a big step. So yeah, I look, I look back on that and say that was probably the moment that I said, all right, this is time for me. The Michigan-Colorado Hail Mary game, obviously before you were born, but... Um, have you ever watched that play? Have you talked with anybody about it? Um, yeah, it's, I, I've seen it, I think. Um, but, yeah, before the sophomore, junior year of high school, I never really watched Michigan football or knew much about it. I knew it was one of the most historic programs of all time, but I was never like a – there's a lot of kids on our team that were diehard fans growing up and stuff, but I never really got into it till I came here. But I've seen the play, I think. They, they completed it, right? That was like a Hail Mary for them, yeah. Yeah, but no, I've never really watched. Very famous play. Yeah, pretty famous play. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> 64 yards. Yeah. yeah. Was you throw it 64 yards? Yeah, a little like more that. than that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully I don't need a Hail Mary. Well, there's some perception that, that you're not mobile, you're not fast. Is that, how do you, how do you respond to that? I'm, I mean, I'm cool with, with that perception because um, then I can actually go out and be a little bit mobile in the pocket and, and avoid sacks and, um, flush the pocket when I need to, so if people want to keep thinking that, it's fine with me, because I'll just keep doing it, and they'll surprise them, so. But do you, I mean, do you hear people saying that? Have you heard that? Yeah, I mean, anytime you're 6'6", six, six, maybe 6'7", six, almost 250 pounds, um, you're going to get that perception. Uh, I'm not saying I'm Cam Newton, but um, I can move if I need to, so. Also, um, in a McDoom, Chesson foot race, yeah. who, who has the edge? I'd, I'd still say Ju. I think Ju is one of the faster people I've ever seen um, with a ball in his hand. So uh, Eddie's fast though. We've given him a couple fly sweeps this this season, and he's uh, improvised and gotten a lot of yards. So, but yeah, it's still Ju. Still Ju. You step in in a year where there is Ju, there is Amara, Jake, but do you kind of sit back and think I, I picked a pretty good year to take over the starting quarterback? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I said that that. Big Ten Player of the Week thing was was cool, but it, it was pretty much all because of uh, Ju and, and Darbo and Jake and the the offensive line. Those guys are experienced and they're making me look good, but it's really all they're doing. So I, I feel very fortunate to have started um, with this array of weapons around me. How open were those play action? I mean, they loaded up on you guys. All yeah, game and mm -hmm. never changed from it. Were you? Was it just like take your pick? Every time, was yeah. It, was it that open? Uh, yeah, there's some play, there there's some uh, post routes and some plays I had to fit into tight windows. But yeah, there was like that 45 yard touchdown to yeah. Amara. He had two steps on him. All I had to do was just give him the ball and, and um, not miss him. So uh, those guys get open. They do a really good job of getting open and, and um, staying open. So just got to keep getting the ball. G or Amara are one on one with somebody that's. That's a, that's a win. Yeah. 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 Pre-snap, yeah. I know that that's a win. So I think there's a there's a play where Darbo ran a 10-yard stop route, and there was a guy press coverage on yeah. him. And he's a pretty big corner, but pre-snap, I knew I was going there because I knew he'd, he'd win on that.